Yeah, what up fam? My name is Wilson. Welcome to the channel where I talk about all things food delivery. Your boy's getting started here on day 11 of April Behind Bars, a money making challenge with these food delivery apps. All here hustling on my Yamaha Zuma 2023, trying to make as much money as possible per usual. You already know, natural hustler natural born hustler we ain't made for these cubicles we made for the streets <laughs> I gotta think of a I gotta think of a word that rhymes with cubicle that'll be a sick bar we ain't made for these cubicles and then uh, you know the next bar I guess and the, the next line what rhymes with cubicles cubicle It's not that I'm irresponsible, it's that I'm out here pushing it to see what's possible. Damn! Woo! Already dropping bar. Oh shit, where'd I gotta go? We gotta go to, oh man, this building. Jesus! 7 7 770. 770 grand. You already know that building is massive. It's like a whole block. Be having to walk around the whole thing sometimes. It looks like this one's not not gonna be lo such a long walk. Nine, uh, it ends with ninety. Yeah, I know where that's at. It's in the middle of the building. Sweet. Well, yeah, guys, thanks for joining. Uh, yesterday I had a good day. I'll tell you guys more about that in a bit. <clears throat> I'm kind of almost back at a hundred percent. I got a little hand injury, some cuts. Um, yeah, I, I they're, they're pretty much good. Uh, the, the first few days they were really bothered. I really wasn't able to use this handlebar. Like to get home was a bitch. The way I was using my handlebar. And then uh, I had to wait a little bit so I could heal up. Took a few days off, but we're back. Uh, let's get this money, y'all. For the same building, the same floor. I should have brought both of them. I would have knocked them both out right now. I gotta go back to the scooter. I scheduled myself for the rest of the week on DoorDash. But I need to get that uh platinum status back. I got till I got 30 minutes to try to get in a couple deliveries in the Hollywood Silver Lake market. I'm all, I'm at 60%. I just need two percentage points to uh get back up there. And then I'll be good. So, I'm headed to Hollywood Silver Lake Market. Yesterday, uh, I lost my platinum status early. And I was kind of like, all right, whatever. I'll just guess I'll just leave DoorDash on because I was already outside of downtown LA. I didn't have nothing scheduled. There was nothing busy, so I just started just doing Uber Eats. Every anytime I do one app, it's like so much more peaceful. It's more relaxing. It's, not so many moving parts and I already toned it down because the multi-app and strategy has changed I don't I don't I don't really stack as much because it's not really that busy and then the whole DoorDash uh, priority platinum statuses and all that I can't be really declining deliveries like before but it ended up working out man I was getting back to back uh, big deliveries I got a big boost for one of them. Move reach. I got like a sweet green one right here on this street back there. And it was like 22 bowls, 22 items. The majority of that was bowls and some drinks. Dropped off at some photo shoot. They had a photo shoot at like a motorcycle shop. So there was all these hot models there, you know, looking all fine. I was like, what y'all doing here? He's like, oh, we're doing something. Like, yeah, all these, all these dudes passing by, just looking. Shit, I'm one of those dudes. Fortunately, I had to drop shit off here. But that one ended up being like a fifth. How much was it? It was like a 40 something dollar tip. 45, 48. I really can't remember exactly. Plus, the, plus I think there was another delivery attached to that. It was really good. Gave, a, gave me a nice boost. And then, I mean, I got like four more of those where I got a, uh, well, it was like a hidden tip, you know, it's a big, it was a big, uh, it was a big order. 
and I kind of I kind of already know where to when, where to spot them when I know it's gonna be more than what they uh, offered at first. It's just quick math, you really, with Uber Eats. So like you you add you add what's on the bill, like like how much you think everything costs. Like for example, the sweet green one, sweet green. Um, their bowls aren't cheap. They're like fifteen twenty dollars each. Right, and then um, you got maybe like a over a dozen bowls. Just with the bowls themselves, you're looking at one eighty two hundred dollars, right? And then then there's drinks as well. So just the, just that right there is over two hundred dollars. It's like a two hundred fifty dollar bill. What's fifteen percent um, tip out of like two fifty? What's every every obviously every every hundred dollars is fifteen bucks times plus. 250s that's already like you're looking at 30 for like like 40 dollars in tip and then they can also do 18 percent 22 percent i really haven't seen the way it looks on um uber eats it's been a while oh shit there is a lot of traffic here man damn But uh, then that you're like, yeah, there's a, there's either no tip in this big order, or it's just they're just gonna show it to you later, like an hour, hour after the delivery. I really don't know why Uber doesn't show that. So, I mean, I don't know why they're transparent about the full delivery. They try to lie. They try to say like, oh, they tipped you more after. Bullshit. They committed to that before they some like right when they submitted the order. So yeah, it's just a whole weird thing that they do with these apps sometimes, just with their lack of transparency. God damn, this is crazy right here. <laughs> I've done dodged a bunch of cars already that are trying to get in the lane. They're like, it's very hectic right now. People are so indecisive where they're going, or they're making those last-minute lane changes. Because this is like, this was where transfers to. You know, going east, north, west. So there's a lot of uh, changes. Uh, 11:38. Not the time I'm supposed to be out here. I'm supposed to be a lot earlier. So better late than never. And uh, I locked in a $14 DoorDash delivery. Let's see how many deliveries it takes for me to get back to 70%. Cause uh, I, I'm starting to understand the way the acceptance rate is. I'm trying to break it down in an analogy that's understandable. So, so just think of uh, every order you accept or decline. It gets recorded either D or A, right? A for accept, D for decline, and then that's one chip down. You put, and you do another accept, another A, another A, and then they just keep sliding down. Eventually, once it gets to 100, that first one you accepted or declined falls off the cliff. So, <clears throat> if I decline one, boom, my acceptance rate goes down right away because it's in that hundred right but then I gotta wait a hundred deliveries for that rejection to fall off so basically it need, it'll go back to a hundred percent once I do a hundred deliveries and once I accept a hundred deliveries so if I just uh, accept 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 it's still always gonna say 99 percent until finally that hundred delivery pushes that last chip decline off the cliff so I guess right now what's happening is that I have 32 deliveries within that 100 thing that's a de uh, decline. And I have to keep pushing like good ones until finally one of the little decline offers like falls off the 100. And then it goes up one point. Then I'll go up to 69%. I keep doing that. Keep pushing the steps. steps. Eventually I'll have uh, another decline fall off. Boom. Back to 70%. Where that decline is, I have no idea. I don't know like it doesn't show you you know I wish there were that transparency so you'd be like all right I need 12 more deliveries so I can go at one point 
or I need just one more to go at one point or I need like 12 to get rid of 10 declines but uh, yeah there's just been some offers that I was like just absolutely and not these disrespectful as deliveries you know yesterday I actually did take one a no tip one and that customer was so difficult I was pissed I didn't even want to do it I was like borderline about to cancel but then I didn't want to mess my com completion rate up I'm already at 99% you know all these little things that becomes like an annoyance when you're dealing with no tip customers they're like out to get you hey what's up with this no room all right let's see is this available nope take a list up ahead flicked off this Mitsubishi coming up on my left this blue one <laughs> what happened he went around it erratically and then flicked it off he's still kind of keeping an eye on it <laughs> <laughs> what happened? Who knows? I'm about to pass this drama though. Hopefully, he ain't too pissed. And the kicks knocks my ass. Damn, he's lane splitting with those boxes on the side. That's some skill, son. Cause that's uh, bro, those boxes stick out. They stick out more than the mirrors. So like at least when I pass cars, I'll know that I'll fit, the rest of my car will fit because the mirrors fit. Everything else kind of like, it's like, it's like a cone, like a triangle. Like this is the, the, the widest of the triangle, right? The mirrors. And then everything else just kind of gets slimmer as you go back. My shoulders are probably the second widest and then the other one is the backpack. And that's it, nothing else sticks out. On In his case, his 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 cone is the, like the other way around like the mirrors are narrower than the back but you know the thing is once you start riding your bike for such a long time you grab you get a good idea of where you fit men do at least women for some reason never figure out how big their vehicles are <laughs> and by women i mean my my girlfriend I'm not talking about the rest of y'all. No sensitive motherfuckers beginning. But yeah, like he then yeah, his his uh his width of the box is plus bike. I wonder how what the length is across. So they're really me making me go down this steep hill. I would have been kind of nervous going on this hill on my ruckus because those drum brakes <laughs> I've gone down this hill where I'm not getting no, no I wasn't getting no uh, grip on the drum brakes and I was just going I had to put my feet down thinking I was going to crash these disc brakes I'll put in work I could do it with confidence boy out let's see this is Baxter one of the steepest hills in uh LA I kind of want to see if it, this can uh, handle it oh damn that thing is steep <laughs> let's see let's go it's a one way so people might be tripping out whoa look she's actually struggling 15 miles an hour whoa it made it though this is where that Tesla flew. <laughs> Bing. All right, Zuma. All right, that was pretty good. Ruckus would have absolutely not made it. I think um, it would have got like stuck. I would have to like zigzag up to the top. I'm just waiting on new deliveries, but I wanted to check out this alley. Never been through here. Very narrow alley. I think cars barely fit through here. Where the hell did I pop out through? For a screw. I really hope I didn't pick it up. 
<laughs> I'm going back to see if it's still there. Because if it's still there. Okay, it's still there. Kick this shit off the damn street. Wait, there's more than one. Someone's probably throwing them on here on purpose. Interesting. All right. Well, I, I saw one. I, I could have been mistaken it and thought it was like a a different one. But I I saw I saw one there on the ground. It was a nail actually. The other one looked like a screw. Maybe the screws in my tire. I hope not, man. I just got these tires. And then up here by the Hollywood Reservoir, got a couple deliveries. Seven and nine for a total of 16, baby. Never been through these roads at all. At least I have no memory of it. Yeah, this is fresh territory. So I, I delivered to a house that was at the very dead end. Since we're up here, let's go check out the reservoir. It's going to be to the right. That says reservoir that way. I've been to the reservoir, but the way I've gotten there has been a different, a different way. So I've never been exactly through these streets here surprised I got service here I'm like I'm in the middle of all the mountains sick all right right here I gotta stay right this carpool ride screen comes in handy on situations like this because you can kind of see like where the road's going check it out this is where it ends right here I know people come hiking up here. Oh, there's a spot that homie was talking about. Well, I found it, baby. Pretty sure you can't come in here. Let's take a quick pic. Look at these people. Hi. Wait, wait. Yeah. How did you get up here? How? Yeah, what street what do you street? Take? This is my first time actually coming up here. I usually come over to that side. No, us too, but I want to come up. I want to come up here. All right, look, check it out. This is where I had to do that weird turn. So you guys know Off Argyle? No, you know this street right here, the one with uh, Cahuenga. Yeah. Cahuenga Terrace? I made a right on this street oh. and I went up Holly Drive. Holly. Holly Drive. Yeah, Got so Cahuenga to this little street, I don't know what it's called. Yeah. Got it. But yeah, I was like, I've never been through this. Oh, here we go. I, I no, can see this. This is a good way to go. Odin Street. Odin Street. So Odin Street Got it. to Holly. It comes all the way up here. And yeah, I want you to come north. There's literally a sign that says reservoir that way. Got oh, okay. It. Yay, thank and you. I was like, cool, I'm going to go check it out real right. quick. Yeah, but I did one right here. I'm like, let me just go take a picture. Yeah, and check it out. All right, thank you. All right, guys. All right, so check it out. We're here. I thought they were going to start telling me to leave. <laughs> Check her out. So I'm going uh, to co-post up over there. And uh, catch a flick. And then bounce back, baby. Alright, here we go. Nice picture right here. Sick. Oh, shit. So that's like the other exit that way. I might as well exit that way. Yeah, let's go. Let's keep going one way. Obviously, I'm not going to drive too crazy because people are on the road walking. Look, check it out. That's Hollywood over there on that side. This is uh, <clears throat> the other side of the Hollywood Reservoir. Look, check it out. You can see the Hollywood sign right up, right above. 
pretty neat spot. I've come rollerblading here once. <laughs> I came out on a date. I was like, all right, I got some cool free shit we can do. This is a long time ago. When, they're, when you're broke, you got to figure out clever ways of coming out on dates and not paying so much. Not paying, not paying so much money, you know. And then this, was also, this is a great idea here. Excuse me. So I just parked here. Actually, she, she drove. <laughs> I think back then I wasn't driving. There was a point where uh, I would get so much trouble driving. I just got rid of my car. Started riding bikes. And then... Uh, this was probably way before that though. But anyway. Yeah, this is a cool spot to go walk around. Or <laughs> roll a blade, ride a scooter, ride a bike. I don't know about uh, electric vehicles. I hope there's a way out. If not, you're going to have to do a little high speed pursuit, low speed pursuit out of here. This is a Rosa Bro. Damn, what if this thing collapsed? I mean, there's enough water here to take some houses down for sure. Alright, we're coming to the end of it. There should be a, a junction here. Oh no, that one. There's that one. That one's closed. <laughs> oh no, I know. We can come in and out of this, baby. Hello. <laughs> it's a 3.5 mile loop. Wow. It's pretty extensive. Alright, so this is what I'm used to. This area here. And I think that's why they were asking me, uh, those people, they're like, how the hell did she get over here? Let's go this way. Let's do the long way. So that's the exit. So I guess the other part where they walk through is the sidewalk. All the way around. Right here I can speed up. I'm going to go regular car speed. A nice day to be cruising. What time is it? It's 2:55. I took a break at that sidewalk grill spot that's in uh, Silver Lake. Food is delicious, baby. Had the chicken kebab. It was good. Really good. I'm gonna go there and try some uh, some other time. Expensive, but that's anywhere that has good food. This is a street that goes away from the reservoir, but that's the street you take so you can continue the loop. I could basically go back that way and then come out where I came from, where I came in from, and that's the loop. But now we're gonna go to the Hollywood sign. Look, there it is. Uh, if you want to get really close to the Hollywood sign without the hike you can literally drive here so you see a lot of cars parked check it out look how close the Hollywood sign is oh pretty dope Lake Hollywood Park that's what it's called super chill got a lot of photographers here taking a pic Yeah, they got the whole tripod and everything. Alright. Uh, Alright, so get out of here. We're going to have to go through Mulholland Drive. Alright, let's, let's just keep going down this road. Horsers pass by in their Priuses. I guess this got they got this area very uh, enforced. Because if they didn't, you'll probably have this whole red spot here blocked off with cars parked. Check out the... There's actually a, a cave around here. 
It's where they filmed one of the super old school Batman movies. Like uh, one of the Batman movies that came out like in the 80s. There's a scene where like supposedly Batman's coming out of his bat, bat cave. It ain't no bat cave. It's a cave right here. Uh, there's a street that leads to a park and it ends. And you have to do like a short hike. And then you can uh, actually crawl in there. There's a part of it that's pretty high. Where should we go? Let's just go this way. Let's get back to work. I'm gonna follow this motorcycle, dude. They can hear him. <laughs> Damn, this guy gets super close. <laughs> you could just rev and they'll hear his ass coming. Uh, what was I going to say? Oh, yeah. Sherman Oaks. I was able to lock in a... I was able to lock in a, a, a dash there to like midnight. I'm like, wait, have I ever worked that area? I don't think I have. So let's go. Hopefully uh, I get enough pings out there that I'll be able to bring up my acceptance rate up. If not, it's back to scheduling tomorrow, which means I'll be glued to downtown LA uh, or its surrounding areas, which is cool. I mean, I, I know it works. I've done it for a very long time, but I'm enjoying this mixing up and just going to different areas and being able to do both apps and not have just to depend on one. So yeah, all I gotta do right now is go to this market, get some pinks, bring up that acceptance rate up. And there's traffic in here too. I got five bottle pickup. I was on my way to Sherman Oaks, but uh, I got this uh, offer, five bottles. I'm like, all right, let's do it. I'll be able to secure it there. Someone's gonna party, son. Did I verify? Sure. Let's go. And it's only 0.7 miles down the street. After this, I'm going to jump back on the freeway. Kept going. Keep heading to uh, Sherman Oaks. Should just take the street, though. The, street, the freeway's packed. Uh, same hikers from... Uh, from the reservoir right here. They're, they came to eat at the same place I was picking up at. Well, I was, I was as I was going to Sherman, I got hit with another delivery, another 11 bucks. And then after that, uh, $16 add-on. And that's all going south. So, yeah. There goes my plans for uh, Sherman Oaks. But you know what? Um, it reminds me um, when I had lunch with a couple of hustlers, uh, my boy Tony and Matt. We were hanging out, and uh, Tony got an idea of uh, we should do a challenge where we do like uh, different areas. We work in different areas. Like everyone that, like in a month, you guys just basically pick one week where you choose a market different than what you normally do. And you basically just work that market for one week just to uh just to mix it up a bit so have you ever thought about working a certain area and you haven't done it maybe uh maybe for this challenge uh you guys can uh test it out and obviously we have a challenge already this month we have uh just a non-stop everyday hustling april behind bars right I was thinking why not do it next month and we'll call it uh 
I just quickly just thought of a good name for it. Uh, I thought we'll call it Market Mayhem. Uh, next week's May, and uh, it's the challenge is to be working in different markets. You know, Market Mayhem. <laughs> Woo! It just clicked right away. Everybody was like, "Yep, that's the one. That's the name." So we're gonna do Market Mayhem next month. And I think this will be a good chance to work a different market that I normally work. I wouldn't pick Sherman Oaks. I'll pick something like I had a couple in mind. I have three in mind. If I want to do one where it's not so far away, I'll do Long Beach. Just because Long Beach, uh, I haven't really visited Long Beach in a very long time. It's a, another iconic. Um, city you know sublimes from Long Beach Snoop raps about uh, LBC Long Beach uh, which is kind of like north side of Compton uh, La no it's like Compton area Long Beach is like right there so uh, I think that'll be pretty fun it's just working uh, Long Beach Long Beach is number one that's a local pick that's just south of where I live uh, the second pick will be San Diego. I love to spend a week in San Diego just to uh, hit that market up. And it's cool because I'll be considering all of San Diego one market. So I'll be working that whole area for a whole week. Shit. And then uh, my third choice would be obviously San Francisco. That one's like a mission though. It's like three, four hundred miles away. San Diego is like 130 miles away. Long Beach is like 15, maybe 50 miles away. So I guess there's like different levels of how how serious am I? <laughs> I think we should get points on on miles. Like how far from your home are you traveling? Then again, I don't know. That might be it. Might be unfair, but I think I'll just be going to a different market and hustling for a while. That'll be a lot of fun. But uh, I've been looking at just looking at LA County. LA County is huge. There's so many different uh, cool markets, like Big Bear. Big Bear is a market that's up in the mountains, and I think there's snow. There's a bit of snow up there. So imagine doing deliveries in the snow. <laughs> What? Big Bear is not that far. It's probably like an uh, like an hour and a half, two hour drive from where I live. I can take the element up there and just the week. Where obviously I will have to have somewhere to stay if I go outside of LA or far from home. But I don't know. What do you guys think about the concept? Market mayhem next next month. And uh, you guys pick one. You designated one week for the month. And you pick your market. You let everybody know in the Crank Hustle uh, group. And we just share our stories, pictures, and all that. And we could actually use that opportunity to meet up with other hustlers. If you guys are in a different area that where a lot of other local hustlers work at. Let me know what you guys think. Check it out. We got a couple soups in the bottom here. I'm just going to secure them with some tape. You guys already know so they don't tip over. And I'm going to slide this all the way to the back. And secure them with my panel. That's secure. That's not going over. That's not going anywhere. That's how you secure some soups, baby. Well, my uh, kit this is a VK 140 Pro all right let's go after a long journey oh baby perfect no spillage a little broccoli spilling out but other than that she's solid pick up for like For like uh, 11 bucks 
And then I got two for 16 at Jersey's Max. DoorDash. This guy told me it was going to take a while. I had to confirm the McDonald's one already, so hopefully this guy doesn't take too long. Because I got to bounce. I was able to get both. All right, continue with pickup. I knew they're gonna ask for a receipt. Good thing I didn't put it away yet. Okay, this is a mirror. And then the second one is Sean. Was bounce. Oh, I got uh, three drop-offs. Finally stacking. Oh, man. These aren't some apartments. Damn. I hope this doesn't take too long. It's one of those <clears throat> ones in, like, a gated community. Those are the... And then this one in particular is, like, these... Uh, this building is a lot more complicated than your average building. And I already got... This, this uh, DoorDash uh, Uber Eats one is all the way up north. Basically already hitting like the, the hills. But we're going to use our navigation skills to get around quickly. And uh, make this quick. Into this gated community. It's huge. It's literally like probably a mile across both ways anyway I hope this building is not like a skyscraper or anything I hope it's just like oh it is one of those it's one of those all right well since I'm in here already hopefully I don't need access because that also takes time like a freaking one way all right well this is the building here through the front here we are because this delivery is on Fairfax but I usually want to avoid the street because of the, all those speed bumps they have the undesignated speed bumps it's just floor so messed up and they're avoidable because they run across the whole street like bulges that stick out the street almost like tectonic plates rubbing into each other like the baby st the baby stages of a tectonic plate watch I'm gonna look like, they start early there's probably like a huge network of like sewage and cables and that run across the street because this street is all cut up from from like yeah like vertically or horizontally All right, where am I delivering? Okay, it's coming up. It's a business. The spot. It was just one order. It's just this. This is 20 bucks. Got a $20 order. All right, definitely got to put these in the, in the cup holders in the back. But I am going to go because I am gonna go up a hill. I'm gonna do a little extra to secure these bad boys. Just so uh, I don't get no surprises up there. I'm gonna do it this way. Cover the hole, and then so this lid doesn't come off. You know what I mean? <laughs> Do one more. The hole. So it doesn't come off. Alright. One. And they fall right in. Two. Two. Alright. Put that on top. Sweet. Maybe use that so. Oh, there we go. Use the panel so this thing holds it down. Sweet. I'm gonna put this in here. More accessible.
an alternative route the one that uh it was trying to take me on first said it's gonna take eight minutes longer or eight minutes slower and i think that has to do a lot with traffic but i mean if it has two lanes like this street right here i can try to uh lane split but I mean, I'm not too far away. There's a street I could take to the right. I'm going to do it just because I've never taken it before. Yeah, I'm going to take this little side street right here. Uh, route we're going to take. I might have to go around this Camry or between. Yeah. Because this is what I'm talking about. Because some of these streets are too narrow where these cars get too, too close together and I'll be getting stuck a lot. But I can always do this, baby. Yeah, like I said, I'm going to take the side street. Just for fun. That's the... Oh, it's a single lane road. That way. Nope. Oh, shit, I was supposed to make a right right here. Shit. What the hell does this lead to? I was supposed to take the other... I was supposed to make a right. Whoops. Well, I think this this is a good street. It runs, it runs alongside uh, this main road, which I've never taken. I didn't even know this thing existed here. 36th Street. Very foresty. Trees covering up the sky. And it doesn't seem to have as bad traffic as the main road. We're passing all these cars. I might have just accidentally discovered this street. all right we got a little leakage on one quite normal number two though not much all right it'd be very fun there wasn't as much traffic as uh coming up north So I'll probably record so y'all can check it out. These are uh, fun streets. Kind of shitty for a road bike. But I have ridden through here. It gets pretty hectic. I've been through here at night. Many times riding bikes. A lot of curves and it's going downhill on the motorcycle or on the bike a scooter Shit. what more can you ask for my last delivery here in uh, Hollywood just south of the Hollywood sign and baby No more uh, dash, no more door dash. I got no, no no markets available right now. I'm still at 68%, even though I've probably done like six deliveries already. <sighs> Downtown LA. See if I could get something on Uber Eats. I couldn't get any anything on. Um, I can't jump on any schedules with DoorDash. So, like, and I have my fun out there already beginning to like Hollywood area it's massive it's like five times bigger than downtown LA maybe bigger this is downtown LA man it's like okay you can see look look at this map look at all these hot spots one two three four mm. oh shit I was supposed to go ah. there's like one two there's so many hot spots in Hollywood maybe I came back too early I should have stayed out there. But yeah, like, see how there's all these hot spots? That's all Hollywood area. 
Beverly Hills, Mid Wilshire. Yeah, so I'm gonna start working there more often. From now to 8 p.m. All right, so whatever they throw at me, I'm taking. I just hope it ain't nothing too far, which I most likely will get is something far for highways high, like something where I have to get jump on the highway something seven miles plus bet I'm calling it right now <laughs> that or something that's like three dot 350 all right just wait it out remember I told you guys about the Vespa here I, I remember seeing it. I started popping up. I'm like, "Ooh, that's nice," and it looks brand new. But I'm looking over here on the side, and and man, it looks like the guy already took a spill on it. It's scratched from the side, or maybe you know what? Maybe he just kind of touched something. Like maybe he got too close to something, or turned into it, and he just kind of scratched up against it. But yeah, it's uh. It's heartbreaking. Oh wait, I gotta go to the other side. So I got these two pickups. Um, donut brand and then uh, what's this next spot? It's uh, Tender Greens. Tender Greens. Man, might as well go this way. Yeah, it's one for 11 and one for 8. Or no, how much was it? It was one for 9 and another one for 10. Something like that. Basically 19 bucks, in other words. So, yeah. And I was going to add it on my calculator, but I restarted my phone earlier and the total went away. So I have no idea how much I have. I probably have about 170 guesstimating let's see um, right now looks like I have bro let me see how much I have it's not letting me see my total right now oh well I might wrap it up after this so I got a delivery here and then another one all the way up here Alright, I just delivered here at this uh, little dead end with all the lights. Check out this driveway right here though. It's legit, right? <laughs> so we're here in the corner of uh, Silver Lake. You got the, the city view here to the left. Check it out. Sick. That's Cypress Park. This is the perfect delivery to end the night. Yes, I'm gonna call it. Um, I'm gonna call it early, y'all. I got maybe like a good 170, 180. Tomorrow I'm gonna work all the num. Tonight I'm gonna work the numbers. So in tomorrow's video, I would uh, I'll break down to you guys where I'm at, earning wise, and what's my game plan. Cause uh, you know with this injury on my hand and how to take a few days off it really threw me off so I gotta see what the game plan is and then uh, also I gotta plan for market mayhem which is a challenge for uh, next next month I want to tell you guys a little bit more about that but yeah what is this day 11 yep april behind bars baby day 11 coming to a close i think i got like 170 180 around there i'm just guesstimating because i kind of forgot that calculator does come in handy to try to like know where i'm at well let's just take a quick look all right this one was supposed to be only got seven but it's supposed to be like 19 so like 12 bucks are missing so let's just say this is the total right 115 plus 12 uh, how much is that um 127 uber eats 
DoorDash. Let's see. 127 and then um, DoorDash. I got 31, 30. Damn. So 30, 35, 65. So 65 plus 127. Yeah, alright. So like 180, 190. Yeah, I was close. I got a little brain fart. I was like, what? Hold on. 65 plus 127. Let's add the 7 later. 120 plus 65, 185 plus 7, 192. There we go. 192 almost hit the 200. Cool. Crazy how yesterday I worked the same hours and I made 320 something. Yesterday was crazy back to back bangers. Anyways, guys, I uh, appreciate you guys watching. How many miles? 93 miles. Yeah, like I said, I appreciate you guys watching. Uh, stay tuned for tomorrow's video. I'll catch you guys tomorrow. Peace.